Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Rob Wormowski for GearWire.com and I'm here at the Chicago Guitar Show, which for some reason is taking place in the uh, DuPage County Expo Center. I can't figure that out, can you? Uh, that's the way it is. <laughs> that is the way it is. I'm here with Bill Hollenbeck. Bill, uh, uh, Bill is the uh, owner and uh, chief luthier for Hollenbeck Guitars. Welcome, Bill. Yeah, I'm the only luthier, so... Well, that makes yeah. you chief. Right. I'm There's no Indian luthiers, you are the chief luthier. Uh, yes, that's true. So, uh, uh, Bill, uh, let me ask you this. How uh, many years have you been uh, uh, coming to the uh, Chicago area show? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. And you've been a luthier for how long? Uh, since 69. Terrific, terrific. And uh, we wanted to uh, uh, check out some of the uh, recent uh, Hollenbeck uh, models that you've got out here. Uh, is there, uh, let's let's uh, talk about uh, some of these uh, hollow bodies. Well, I have a 16 and 17 inch, that's the lower bout. Uh, that I sh I'm showing right now, and I'm carving an 18 uh, for a new 18 right now. On the, I, I kind of take pieces around to the shows and uh, demonstrate a little bit, but the uh, I don't have an 18 right now. Okay, so, but but that's what I right. But I am uh, well. Like last last year, we were up at Villa Park, and I was carving a, a top, and that's on the red one. That's sitting here right now. So I try and little do some demonstration, but have a finished product or do make a product while I'm around, and people enjoy it. They, I get a lot of questions off of it, and and, and I'm noticing uh, that uh, you use a PAF style pickup. Is that a single pickup? Is that correct? Yeah, it's a it's a Johnny, Gibson Johnny Smith. Uh, Seymour Duncan makes one that's all really close to it. I'm not so sure. Uh, well, it's not the same manufacturer, but I don't know for sure. Now, just looking at it, and I haven't heard any of the tone, but just looking at it, I'm going to guess that a jazz player might favor your guitar. Is that correct? Yes, uh, but I have a lot of Chet-style players that, that play my instruments, too. But it's, it's basically a jazz box. Can you tell us a few of the players? Well, Jim Nichols from uh, California. He plays one of my signature uh, uh, semi holly bodies. And most of the other guys uh, that have them are, they're personal. I mean, they're not professionals. And so that's, uh, I've made about 50 guitars. So as a, as a luthier, day in and day out, uh, you're kind of constantly working with uh, wood and working with, your, uh, working with the instruments. Uh, how often uh, are you making a new guitar in a year? How many uh, a year do you make? I make four a year. So about, uh, is it fair to say about two, uh, about uh, uh, three months or so for a complete guitar, or is it, uh, is it different for each one? Well, uh, it's not too much difference. It depends on what the customer wants, but it'll take me 250, 300 hours to make a guitar. And I, they don't control my life. So I, about four is about what I can get out and still uh, have, a, have a normal life. I hear you. And do you pay, uh, how much of that time is spent uh, picking materials? I mean, uh, you uh, you you settled on a, on a Sitka spruce for most of the guitars, or is it, uh, or is there a different wood for uh, different models? No, I usually use Sitka. It's a very stable, uh, tough wood, and I know how to handle it, to tune it, and use it. Uh, and but most of my materials I buy ten years ahead. Ten years. Yeah. What's the thinking behind that? Well, it's. I don't like to use uh, the uh, a green wood. I want it, I want it to have some age on it, and I don't want them to come back sometime and say, "Well, I got a big crack in this" or something like that. So, and and uh, also about that uh, about Sitka, uh, uh, what are its properties for uh, in, uh, for humidity control and breathing? Uh, does it tend to be stable, or does it tend to dry out over time? Or, well, it it's. It isn't any worse than some of the other woods. I mean, there's a lot of, of wood that can be used for tops, but uh, it's usually you can, if you get it from a Luther supply, you can depend on the thing being aged halfway decent. And uh, it's you pretty much it's the quality of the uh, the, the uh, wood itself is usually mostly the same. I guess is what I'm saying. And you, I I can you know I can have an idea of what I'm going to head for. Uh, and required to get the thing done. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping to speak with us. Okay, thanks. This is GearWire.com.